After the Norwegian breakaway docked in New York City this afternoon, weary passengers all but kissed the ground when they got off the ship. We're just happy we made it home safe. I've been on about 30 cruises. I've never had one like that in my life. The ship, 4,000 strong, was cruising to the Bahamas, but Tuesday night, the ship sailed right into the storm. Winds were howling, seas were rough. Just the rocking and rolling and things flying off everywhere. At one point, the boat was completely at, on an angle where you couldn't even stand up. Going from one side of the aisle to the next. Water was leaking. About 100 people, they say, were sleeping on the atrium floor. For three days, we, you know, my, my family was biting their nails. My daughters were crying. They were sleeping on the floors. There was broken glass everywhere. 21 members of the Ross family of Stony Brook were on board to celebrate an 80th birthday. Del Ross wants to know why the captain chose to sail through. Listen, Mother Nature's Mother Nature. I get that. I'm a sailor. But at the end of the day, it's not Mother Nature's fault, but it's how the, you know, the leadership responds to issues like this, and that's what really upset me. Other passengers felt the same. We should not have left where we left. At the time that we did leave, it was too dangerous to um, be out in the ocean. So why did Norwegian sail back in the middle of the storm? The company didn't answer that question from us, but in a statement did apologize to guests delayed for the next cruise that was supposed to leave today. There was no mention of those who made it through this one. As for the Ross family. Will you ever take a cruise again? For now, I, I don't think so. So that is the cruise ship behind me here in the distance, and many passengers are still disembarking at this hour. Some of them told us they did praise the crew on board when all of this was happening. They say they were very helpful. Now, we did reach out to some other cruise lines. Royal Caribbean says their ships were all safely south of the storm when it hit. We are live tonight near Pier 88 in Midtown. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News.